All right. I got projects and projects and projects. Uh, in the middle of doing everything. Um, next project is going to be my Dan 35. Uh, rebuild, upgrade, all that good stuff. A lot of people are going to say, Oh, why are you pouring money into a 35? They suck. Well, they kind of do, sure, if you wield them hard. But um, if you're careful with them, you can get some good uh, use out of them. They're kind of small, but they'll do the job. The only thing I'm not going to do is chromoly axle shafts. And, well, if I break my old ones, then I'll get some decent ones. But I'm not going to blow money on something I don't need just yet. I'm only going up to 33s, and they're going to be 10 and a half, so. Alright, as you can see, there's a, a little bit of play, in and out movement and all that stuff. My, uh, my rear shot, if you've been watching my videos, my Dana 30 front was also doing this a lot worse. So, I'm going to tear this whole thing apart, put all new bearings in there. I got an Eaton E-locker that's going to go in there, so I'm going to lock the rear. Nice electrical, selectable locker, so all i got to do is run a wire. No cables, no airlines, none of that crap. It's a three-pin design, they're pretty good. Um, what else, what else? Oh, I'm also re-gearing. Since I'm getting 33s, I want to help my engine out a little bit and going up to, uh, 456 gears. So, at 4.56, whatever you'd like to call them. So, uh, I might show part of the front re-gearing, I don't know. But, for now, let's tear this fucking thing apart. I'm going to take this, this nut off here, so that I can check out the pinion bearing uh we'll take the cover off and we'll take a look inside all right grab yourself uh an impact gun you're gonna need a one and one eighth inch uh socket i'm pretty sure uh, this one doesn't have a number on it but i'm pretty sure it's one and one eighth inch so here's my rear what do you think that's good right that's a decent bearing it doesn't bounce around too much it's that's fine. That is fucking terrible. <laughs> Just the, the bearing and everything. Fluid that came out. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're gonna have fun taking this out and uh, swapping some stuff. I'm also gonna take off the tires and do the uh, axle bearings as well. Alright, I just found out something cool that made me happy. I don't have C-clips. If you look in there... Come on, focus, you piece of crap. Yeah. There's no C-clips. Just straight axle shaft. I have a 1989 Dana 35. And I believe 87 to 89 was non-C-clip, and then 90 plus was C-clip. So, uh, yeah. Awesome. Another way to tell, if you don't want to take your uh, cover off there, take your tire off and take a gander here. If uh, on your wheel stud you got a big ass hole here, you probably don't have C-clips. That hole is so that you can rotate it and get access to the bolts back there. So there's the four bolts right there that hold my uh, axle shaft on. So it's going to be fun unbolting them. And then after that, I'll be able to pull this uh, axle shaft out and then start working on the carrier. All right, we got four 9 inch bolts. Take them out of the holes. You got a plate right here, and then you got your bearings. So uh, this one, since it's uh, held in with this plate, it might be stuck in there kind of good. So you're going to have to give it a good um, a slide hammer, or uh, in my case, I was lucky enough I could just take a hammer. I rested it up against here and against the axle shaft and just went pop. Pop right up. So now this bad boy is free. And you can see uh, all the good stuff in there. Or well, not good stuff. Cool. Alright. On the other side. Use a flathead or something to try and pry this uh, bracket off if you can't get to it. Give it a little twist or whatever. There you go. Ta da! Axle shafts removed. Now, if you got C-clips, it's a little different than that. If you really need help, look up another video. But what you're going to do is take your uh, your brakes off and everything, and actually push your uh, axle shaft inward, and you'll be able to just reach in and grab the clip off. And it'll be located in the spider gear. So you'll be looking right in there for a C-clip. 
if you can't get to it you'll have to take this center pin out which you might and if you take the center pin out there's a there's a thing back there um anyway next carrier comes out you got four bolts holding them in i think they're five eighths or something like that you want to mark them they have to go back in the same way they came out so i put a little tiny mark up there top left is one over here top right is two dots i might have to do the dots a little better but even if not uh I'll, I'll, I'll lay them in there i'll just put them back in or something just remember which way they came out once these guys come out if these bearings are loose or something your carrier is going to fall right out so make sure you're ready to catch it and if it doesn't fall out you'll need a pry bar to pull it out so okay once those bolts come out right there uh, I left the, the top ones a little loose and still in there because my carrier was just ready to fall right out. So just carefully uh, palm it and hold it and take it off. Make sure the bearing caps, you remember how it came off. Here's your carrier. You got um, your outer bearing races. And mine are shimmed on the outboard side, I guess. I think that's what these things are. I'm assuming this is a shim. It's on the outside. Same on this. So, uh, if these are shims and they are different lengths, make sure you remember which side is which. I'm going to keep this side on and this side off so I remember. So, uh, don't mix those up. As for your, um, your pinion, mine just kind of fell right out as well. So, uh, here's your crush leaf. It's not real big. It's a tiny little thing. Yeah. Since I got new gears and a new carrier, I'm not reusing any of this. Which is kind of cool. So... The only thing left to do is to uh, punch out the old races and to remove the rear seal. So with the seal in the back, you're going to take a seal puller and pull that out. Then the old uh, outer bearing should come out. And then uh, you just take a punch or whatever, and from this side you punch the outer race, and from this side you can punch the inner race. So punch them out, and your carrier is free for the most part. Now, um, yeah. <sighs> Depending on what kind of bearings you have on the outside, on your axle shafts, will depend on how you're going to do this task. If you have C-clipped axle shafts, your bearings are uh, inside your axle tubes. So you're going to need to get a slide hammer with some uh, grabber teeth on them to pull your old bearings out. If you have my style like this, or if you have a Dana 44, I think they're pretty much the same. Uh, this is pressed onto the shaft, I'm pretty sure. So you'll have to get yourself a clamshell bearing puller and put it on there and press it out. And since I have a press, that's not a problem. So you can see the, the seal right here. And the bearing. I think there's a race in there that has to come out. Yeah, that race has got to come out. Alright, so I might still need a slide hammer. And you got this spacer thing right here. So, I'll worry about them later. Okay. Get yourself a, a big old punch and start punching. Here's the seal. Um, I tried uh, warping it out with a screwdriver, but that wasn't really working. So if you want, just go from the inside and punch it out from the the, the back towards the front. And that thing will come right out real easy. Um, also, the races. The race has got to get punched out. You got your, uh, your rear race, your, your inner race, I should say. And uh, the shims, don't forget about these because you'll need to know, uh, I like to use the old ones as a guide for the new ones. So, there we go. Don't lose any of that crap. Okay. 